Crystal Marie. Though no one told him he was traded, New York Mets middle infielder Wilmer Flores got the gist when he took an at-bat in the seventh inning and the city field crowd roared in support. It's a very touching scene and a first trade is always so painful. When I came up to hit in the seventh, I heard everybody cheering, Flores said. I said, why? There's no reason. I thought a trade was the only reason. I was sad. Being with the Mets forever and all my teammates here, that's why I got emotional. It's strange in, in itself, but for him to be that emotional and out of the field just strikes me as, as odd. The 23-year-old has been with the Mets and signing with them at the age of 16 out of Venezuela. During Wednesday night's game, the New York Post's Joel Sherman tweeted that the Mets had traded Flores and starter Zach Wheeler, who's recovering from Tommy John surgery, for the Milwaukee Brewers' Carlos Gomez. After being retired in the seventh, Flores went into the clubhouse, presumably to research the story, then came out to field in the eighth. Flores and Gomez, who was informed by Brewers general manager Bob Melvin on the team plane, handled the trade differently. But there's just one problem, the done deal was never done. Which is why Mets manager Terry Collins didn't remove Flores from the team's 7-3 loss to the San Diego Padres. It was an unfortunate situation, general manager Sandy Elderson said. We could have pulled him and contributed to the speculation. At the same time, we're trying to win a game. Given various considerations on the part of the manager, he was left in the game. In part because we were trying to win the game, in part because at that point in time and at this point in time, there was no deal. So just one of those conundrums where there's probably not a right answer. I've personally talked to Wilmer and apologized. Though early speculation had the Brewers nixing the trade based on Wheeler's lack of progress and recovery, the Mets were the ones dissatisfied with Gomez's physicals, expressing concern about his lingering hip injury and passing on the trade. Naturally, Gomez's agent Scott Boras downplayed the injury. To watch a Cincinnati Reds fan run on field and escape security, click here. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to The Fumble for the best highlights from all your favorite sporting events.